Hi guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a web server on your Raju Pi. For this you're going to need a wirelessly set up Raju Pi, which showed you how to do in the previous episode. The link for that is in the description below. Once you've furthered that tutorial, just plug in your Ethernet and your power and we're ready to go. So let's go onto our computer, open up the PuTTY client, ready to connect to our Raju Pi. Okay, now that we're on our computer, we need to open up PuTTY. This is how we connect to our Raju Pi. So we need, the host name is our IP address, which we found out last time. Now where it says save sessions, we can just put a name for our Pi and click save. This makes it easier, we don't need to remember our IP address, we can just double click the save. We need to put in our username, which is Pi, and then our password, which is what we set it to last time. Now that we're into our Pi, we need to first do sudo apt get update. This just updates the list of where to get updates from. So when we do update or install things, it knows directly where to download those from. I'll be back once this is finished. Okay, now that that's done, we have to do sudo apt get oh, upgrade. This now installs all the updates for all the packages ready to install new things on. For me, I've got nothing to update, but you might do. It might take five to ten minutes to do. After that, we now, can now go and start installing Apache, which is the web server we're going to use. So we do sudo apt-get install apache2-y. This will install the Apache 2 package and set it up, all configuration files and everything. I've already installed it, but for you it might take five minutes. Once you've done that, we need to also install PHP and the PHP mod for Apache 2. This is how we're going to run PHP files on our web server. So you do sudo apt-get install PHP and lib apache 2 dash mod dash, dash php and then dash y. This will install PHP and the PHP mod for the Apache 2 server. As you can see, I've already done it. Okay, that's it. We've installed everything for our web server on our Raspberry Pi that we need to. To see if it works, go onto any web browser in your network, type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and click enter. And as you can see, it works. This is the default page for the Apache server. Okay, now that our web server is set up, we need to transfer our website files that we have created ourselves over to the Pi. To do this, we need a program called WinSCP. Click the download link. The link will be in the description below. Follow the install instructions. Once that's installed, double click it. Wait for it to load. Click new site. Make sure the file protocol is SFTP. The host name is the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. The port number is always 22 and the username is Pi. Don't put your password in, just click login. Wait for it to connect and now put your password in for your Raspberry Pi. Now that we're connected, the files on our left are on our computer and the files on our right are for the Raspberry Pi. So just click the back two times till we go to the root directory. Double click var double click www and double click html now this index.html file is the file for our apache server debian default page this is the default page this is the file that runs that so we can't delete it at the moment because we don't have permissions to do that so head over back to putty type in cd slash var slash www click enter and now to add permissions to this whole folder, we do sudo space chown space pi colon and then the folder which is html. Click enter. Now the user pi has full control over this folder and can write files and delete files. So we can go back over to winscp and just click delete this index file and it's deleted. And now find the HTML file and the website files on your own computer that you want to use and just drag them over. And now that's it, it's over onto here. That's done. We just go over back to the website, type in the IP address, just re refresh the page. And then this is our website that we've created. You can make more elaborate websites and do whatever you want and use your own files so you can test your own websites and things like that. And that's it, the website set up. You can use PHP, HTML, CSS, all running on a web server on your Raspberry Pi. Hi guys, thank you for watching. That's all you have to do to run a web server on your Raspberry Pi. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Remember, like, comment and subscribe. 
Stay curious, stay creative, stay faithful.